I don't think government or NGOs or healthcare workers can succeed unless and until we have our cooperation. We have to cooperate responsibly without creating any resistances with the protocols established by the government bodies. They know too well through their researches what to do, what not to do. So we have to respect those orders, commands. To me, I consider this as a war time rules. What do we do when there is world war? We have to follow the military rules. This is exactly like that. We may not consider that there is a war, but we have to treat this like a war and implement the discipline that would be required to win a war. This war is against invisible. It's tough war. A lot of cooperation will be required from our side. Self-isolation is a very small thing. If we don't isolate ourselves for the next few days, God knows for how many decades we will retard our growth, economic growth, social growth, industrial growth, health-wise, education-wise. In every sector, we will be suffering if we do not respect this self-quarantine. Emotionally, to some people, it can be very troublesome. Circumstances are different for different people. My heart goes out when we say and when we see thousands and thousands of people walking out of New Delhi, walking through Noida, going to UP, trying to go to their homes in Bihar, carrying their little children on their shoulders, what little they have in their you know, bags. Some people do not even have bags. We say you got to wash your hands a few times, but they don't even have water. There's a tragic situation also on one side. Some of us who are watching TV, we are not part of that society. It's difficult to imagine their difficulties. What we are sacrificing today, if you call it, if you may call it sacrifice, I don't think it's a sacrifice either. It is something like an investment for your health, something for investment of the society, of wealth and health of your family.